Hello guys, since the beginnings of this channel six years ago, I started a series known as Scythia Rants. It was me angrily talking about any topic that I could physically imagine talking about in a very angry and personal fashion. I have done, over the course of Code Equestria's history, over 20 of these, mostly ranging in video games, sometimes in entertainment, and sometimes in wrestling. But all of them have the same idea of me being angry at something or other. But I'm not an angry person anymore. I'm actually gentle, kind-natured, open-minded, willing to listen and willing to drum up discussion. So, it is with that said that this will be the final edition of what are known as the Scythia Rants. After which, a new series called Eloquorn Talks will take its place. So, how do you end a series that has been as old as your channel? Well, you end it on a discussion that, well, you've avoided to this point. And you end it with a strangely positive and forward-thinking message. Think of it as a form of activism. Activism. Now, a little background on myself and my compadres. I have been doing this YouTube channel for six years. It's about to be six and a quarter. As of this June, it will be seven years. Over the course of these six and a quarter years, I have had many a person random ask me to improve the quality of my work or to add more bells and whistles to make it more impressive. I've responded the only way that I know how, by telling them that that's not possible for a multitude of reasons. But the biggest reason for it is the topic of the last rant. Fair use. And over the course of a few days, especially today, both Alpha Omega Sin, a YouTuber that I subscribe to and love to hear his rants slash discussions, and the Nostalgia Critic, a subject that I brought up, brought up personally in several of the Kedic reviews for the way that he conducts his review style, have brought up up their use in a more activational activ sort of way lately. Most notably, the Nostalgia Critic today brought, up, brought it up in his latest video. In fact, I will have a link to that in the description. Because that video does more to explain this situation than I ever could. But, it is because of the fair use law and the fact that it's misinterpreted, misused, and abused that you see videos such like this one coming out of this channel most of the time. It's not out of, I don't want to use it, I do. It is out of the fear of the hammer. The fear of the result of essentially using it fairly, outweighing the want or need to use footage. Now, yes, I do have examples where I have actually used footage, and on a couple of those videos in the past, I did in fact get this channel copyright claimed, but never struck. Yes, in an entire six years here on YouTube, I have never had a copyright strike. And I don't in 
tend to, by the by. But it's the fear of the strike that keeps the videos like you see before you, like you've seen so many times before. Why I don't use content, why I don't do flashy intros or editing or camera cuts or such. It's because of that that I don't. And in fact, in fact, it's gotten so bad over the six years that I've literally had to tell my teammates, my arbiter, my editor, Tyler Wooters, uh, as you might know him as Dr. Spartan, to limit the content use or not even to use it at all. The system is broke. That is without question. If the Nostalgia Critic, one of the biggest names in YouTube, is bringing up the subject and riling the fight to fight against it, then I, for one, for once, will put my rivalry aside with him and side with him on this one. Because it's wrong. It's wrong for everybody. It's not only wrong for me. It's not only wrong for him. It's not only wrong for anybody. Two of my favorite channels on YouTube. Two of the people that got me responsible for doing brony reviews. Digi, Digi Bro and Dr. Wolf both got taken down last year. Year over over multiple copyright strikes, although all their stuff is within fair use claims. In fact, some of the channels, channels that I see have also run into problems as well off and on, depending on the situation. Red, red cord being another, another to bring up. But, I just wanted to give you my perspective, seeing that I only have 81 subscribers to my name, and trust me, I don't want any subscribers out of this. What I want out of this is for anybody within the sound of my voice to let, let their voices be heard and try to do their best in any way possible. To fix this. To end this. As a reviewer myself of not only TV shows, movies, video games, and yes, even as a slight wrestling commentator. Having the ability to use the actual content would benefit all of you on my end. But it would also benefit me. Why? Because I want to use it. And I don't want to fear the hammer coming down if I do. I don't want to live in fear of this thing that I do. Not only as a career, but as a hobby. As a form of therapy for myself. To end because I decide to give you guys something that you deserve from me. Something better. Living in fear is not living at all. Living in fear is knowing that death is around the corner. Everything about YouTube as a, as a service is about creativity and independence. For me... It has been that source. After all, as I have said repeated times on this channel, I am a disabled person. I can't get a job. Not a normal one. I can't go to college. Not a normal one. This right here, all the videos you see, this is what I have chosen for my career and for my purpose to the rest of the world. 
how I share my unique gift. There are many others on YouTube that share their unique gifts as well. But they're too often having to fight a battle against a system that doesn't want them to win. And the time has come for it to stop. The time has come for us as an internet to band together in harmony to make sure that our creativity, our inspiration, isn't halted. It isn't limited. And the people that do make money doing this, like Doug Walker, can get the respect, the money, and have the creative freedom that he and every American deserves. Like I said, I'm not a person to speak on the details of what fair use is or why it's in or how it's worked for Hollywood's benefit. I'm not that kind of person. I don't have any personal cases because I played it relatively safe. But I do know there's a fight on the horizon. And there are too many of the little guys, like me, that are taking the hits out of fear and intimidation. Out of fear of being a little too creative. Of not following the system. While the system clearly states that you're wrong. The system clearly states that we, the creators, are in the right. There have been too many cases, too many examples, too many channels, too many casualties, too many people living in fear. But I'll continue to play by the rules until the rules change. Because that's the kind of person I am. But I want to make this abundantly clear. The rules need to change. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. So not only am I asking the question, where's the fair use? I'm asking YouTube. I'm asking the internet. What solution are you going to come up with? What's the answer to our question and when are we going to get it? Because there is a lot of people that deserve that answer. And even if I'm the smallest fish in a little pond and all I do is pony reviews. And all I do is get on this camera with no edits and no cuts to say what I honestly believe about any game, movie, or TV, whether good or bad. I should have the right to do it and do it the way I want to do it. I do deserve that answer. Much like everybody on YouTube does. Where's the fair use? I'll even add another question. Where and when is the solution? And that will be the first thing that is fair about any of this. It's time not only for the Scythia Ranch to come to a close and make a change. It's time for this law to be enforced. It's time for the internet to have its freedom back. 
because there's too many brilliant minds at stake. The answer to the question can determine the Internet's history and its future. And even if you don't hear this, even if you don't create like I do, 436 this will be. This matters to even you. Because it matters what you're watching. Whether it's me or somebody else you like. The battle for fair use has only just begun. I'm not only asking where. Who are we going to have to beat? And when is it going to end? Because for me, I'm sick of living in fear. Even though I'll continue to put out content the way that I've always done it to this point. The day that I have to stop living in fear will be the first true day. That I get to show you what I am truly capable of. And I don't want this just for me. I want this for everyone. Spread this video everywhere. And I don't usually ask. But just this once. Help the internet find peace in its own nirvana. And if you agree, then don't tell me that you do. Tell the internet that you do. They are the ones that deserve your words, not me. See you next time.